This is part 26 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating an ASP.NET Web API service to retrieve employees data from a database table. And in our next video, we'll discuss calling this ASP.NET Web API service using Angular. So the first step is to create the employees table. Here is the SQL script to create the table and populate it with test data. I'll have the script available on my blog and in the description of this video. I've already executed the script and at the moment within our employees table, we have got six rows and this employees table is present in a database called employee DB. Next, let's create our ASP.NET Web API project. We're going to keep this project separate from our Angular project. Here is the Angular project that we have been working with so far in this video series. So to this solution right here, let's add a new project. Let's right click on the solution, add, and we want to add a new project. On the left menu right here, select web. From the middle pane, select ASP.NET Web Application. And let's name our Web API project Employee Web API Service. And then click OK. On this screen right here, select Web API and click OK. The Web API project is successfully created. Now let's use ADU.NET Entity Data Model to retrieve data from our database table. So to this project, let's add a new ADU.NET Entity Data Model. So let's right click on the project, add, and we want to add a new item. On the left, select data from the middle pane, select ADU.NET Entity Data Model. And let's name our Entity Model Employee Data Model. And then click Add. We want to generate our entity data model from the database. So select this first option, Entity Framework Designer from Database, and then click Next. On this screen, click New Connection button. This is going to open up a vendor where we can specify the uh, details about database server. So I'm going to work with SQL Server that's installed on my local machine. So the server name in this case is going to be dot and I'm going to use Windows Authentication. And from this drop-down list, select the database which contains your employees table. In my case, it's present in this database, employee DB. Click Test Connection. Notice we get the message, Test Connection succeeded. Click OK, and then click OK right here. And this is going to save the connection string in web.config file with this name, employee DB Entities. I'm going to leave that default name there, and then click Next. Now this is going to bring up all the tables that we have in our employee DB database. At the moment, we've got only one table and that is employees table. So select the table and then click finish. The ADU.NET data model is successfully created. Now let's add a Web API controller to our ASP.NET Web API project. So right click on the controllers folder within our Web API project and select add and we want to add a new controller. From this window, select Web API 2 controller empty and then click add. Let's name our controller employees controller and then click add. The employees controller is successfully created. Within this controller, let's include a method which is going to return us the list of all employee objects. This method is going to be public and it's going to return i enumerable of employee objects. If you're wondering where did we get this employee object from, the ADO.NET Entity Framework has provided us that class. And let's call this method get. This method is going to respond to get request. And we are going to make use of another class called employee DB entities. Let's call the instance entities equals new employee DB entities. Now, if you're wondering what this class is and where did we get this from, again, ADO.NET Entity Framework provided us this class. This class helps us to connect the, to the employee DB database, which contains our employees table. Now, to get the list of employees, we can use the entities object and it has got employees property. And on that, just call to list, which is going to return us the list of employee objects. And we want to return that list from this method. So this method is going to return us the list of all employee objects. Let's include another overloaded version of get method. This method is going to take employee code. And we know employee code is of type string. 
and when we pass employee code we want to return that specific employee with that employee code so here instead of returning the entire list let's use first or default and we want an employee whose code is equal to whatever we are passing into this method and we don't want this method to return an i enumerable of employee objects instead we want to return that one employee whose code matches with the one that we are passing as a parameter to this method so with all these changes in place let's view this project our web api project in the browser so i'm going to right click on the project and then select view and i want to view it in the browser in google chrome which is my default so here is the home page of our web api service now let's navigate to slash api slash employees notice we get the list of all employees every employee has got employee code now what we want to be able to do is we want to pass the employee code in the url like this when we do that this method within our employees controller which has got code as a parameter will respond and this method is going to return us that specific employee let's see if that happens so when we hit enter here with employee code in the URL look at that we still get the list of all employees and that's basically because if you look at this app underscore start folder within this we have this file web api config.cs in this file we have the default route for our web api and look at the name of the parameter within this default route this is named id and within our controller we named the parameter of our method code so there's a mismatch so let's change id to code here and here as well and let's give our solution a build and reload this web page notice now we only get that specific employee when we remove the code from the URL we get the list of all employees and here is the employee controller code in our next video we'll discuss how to call this web API service using Angular thank you for listening and have a great day